Hello, my name is Noah, and uh, I just got finished watching uh, Amazing Spider-Man 2. This is a little review I thought I'd put up. Um, I'm actually a big fan of Spider-Man, read a lot of comic books and stuff. And uh, this will be kind of spoilerish, just kind of let my thoughts out. Uh, I If I had to describe the movie, it would be kind of a uh, hit and miss. The movie had a lot of moments where it it was really good and it nailed it on the head and then there was parts that were just really not very good at all just cheesy corny so I don't know what was happening there um the movie was <clears throat> the dialogue was a little cheesy it was like it's like I don't understand why they made uh, Peter Parker really like hyper hyper energetic he was he seemed like he couldn't stand still. He couldn't. He couldn't uh, keep like a straight conversation for some reason. He like. He just wouldn't stand still at all. His mouth would not stop moving either. And it just seemed really, really cheesy at some point, especially with uh, when he was talking to his aunt May. It just seemed weird. And uh, just there's other parts that just kind of like what? Like when uh, he just all of a sudden starts. He's wearing a fire hat. And stuff. Um, I think the best part of the movie was uh, actually Electro. Jamie Foxx was really good. I I don't know why. I remember when they first announced that he was playing, a lot of people didn't like it because Electro in the comics is a white guy, and they were like, "Oh, he's supposed to be white." And uh, he was really good in this movie. I'm glad it worked out. But this movie was just I don't know, just too long. Also, like it just seemed to drag on sometimes. I just think the movie was like, just they just kept tacking on everything. They're trying to start their franchise, I know that, but there's better ways to do it. There's better ways to hide Easter eggs in your movie than just putting it right in there in the front. And um, the movie went on for like maybe 15, 20 minutes too long, I believe. I personally believe that. It was just, it, the Rhino it was pointless in that entire movie. It wasn't in it at all. Every move, every scene he's in is in the trailer. I mean, come on. You're going to put the character, add something that's not in the trailer. Yeah, and they should fire whoever's uh, making the trailers because everything is in that in the trailers. If you're going to watch the, this movie, don't watch the trailer. And uh, I'm not really sure if I said there's spoilers in this. I'll probably put it in the title. But uh, yeah, once I saw Green Goblin, I immediately knew, yep, Gwen Stacy's going to die. So, uh, yeah, she does, she's dead now, and, uh, I don't know why, I guess I actually do, because the internet didn't like, uh, Mary Jane, she was going to be in this, but then they, uh, they cut her out of the movie, which would have been interesting, because I wonder where they would put that, probably an edit, end credit scene, or something, but, uh, yeah. Also, the Green Goblin, it's interesting, their take on it, because apparently Osborns have this weird disease that makes them look like goblins. They're like their skin is green and their nails are long and they slowly die from it. So it's interesting where the goblin formula in this universe is a mixture of of um the venom from Sp that was bit by Spider Man and um the actual like disease is like mutated and it seems like they're not finished like once because in the movie, Peter Parker's dad apparently mixes the spider, spider DNA with his own DNA and his bloodline. So the reason why it worked perfectly for Peter is because it was already technically his DNA or his father's DNA. So it's kind of predestined. I, really, I don't really like the whole predestined thing. He, he was, you know, was going to get bit anyway or something. But uh, I guess whatever works. Um... Yeah, so probably, in, and then there's a whole setting up the whole like, uh, I don't see a lot. Um, I know the new movies they're trying to make is like maybe Venom. For sure, they've uh, announced Sinister Six. They've blatantly put it out. Another thing, if you notice um, in the trailers, the newest one I believe that came out, they actually show Venom, the symbiote, in like a sphere. But in this movie, they completely edit him out, and they just replace him with. Uh, the rhino suit in this scene. So, yeah, I don't know about that. 
guess I don't want to show Venom yet. Um, yeah, so this movie was okay. Um, this movie was okay. There was a little hit and miss everywhere. But, um, it, I would, I would go see it if you're a Spider-Man fan, but, and not a hardcore, because you're, I believe you'd just be disappointed. It's not as good as the Marvel movies, of course. It's Sony. It's not the actual makers of, like, Iron Man and Captain America, so they're not going to be as good as those. I, I believe if they had a good writer, a good story, like they knew where they're going, they didn't have, they weren't trying to branch out this franchise with one movie, it would have been much better. It just seemed like they crammed so much into it, hoping for the best. Alright, well, that's about it for now. That's my pre impressions at the moment. Probably going to have to watch the movie again to get a, a full review. Alright, bye. Thanks for